it's Dan Taylor for the morning show at WCBS FM 101.1. A few hundred feet up in the air on one of the few remaining cast iron lighthouses in the world, the Gibbs Lighthouse, overlooking beautiful Bermuda. As we pan out here, you can see two of the most fantastic hotels. One is the Fairmont Southampton, where we stayed last year, and way off in the distance is where we were at the Fairmont Hamilton Princess. This is where people come to relax. What's so amazing is you're two hours away from Manhattan. My question is, what are we waiting for? What are you waiting for? You can make this a weekend vacation. You can stay for a week or whatever you want. Bermuda is tremendous. Now, you've heard Mr. G always talk about that Empire State run up. Well, I'm going to run down these stairs almost as fast as I came up. But I'll tell you, there's a lot of them, and I lost count after a couple of hundred. We'll see ya. You can see a flurry of bottles going by here. We're at the dark yards. Actually, it's not the dark, dark yards. See, I've already had too many already. It's going to be the dark yards pretty soon for me. <laughs> This is the Dockyards, a very, very historic fort. About 200 years ago was when it first started. Can you imagine what those people 200 years ago would have thought if they could see what we're doing in their fort today? Here we are sampling rum. It's called a Dark and Stormy that he's made for me. Is this the Dark and Stormy? Yes, or this it's is a Dark and Stormy. Ginger beer and the Gosling's Black Rum. Ginger beer and Gosling's Rum. Okay, we're gonna try this out. I am told by Larry, who was our ace tour guide, the darker the Dark and Stormy, the more stormy it is. The darker, the stormier. Oh, wow. Can you give me a larger cup? <laughs> I can do that for you. Gordon, tell me about this. This is amazing in here. This is Rob, where it all happens, Rob, right? Rob, Rob, a brewer, who's a master brewer. He's, uh -huh. glad he's not here currently, um, but this is where he produces the, the volume of beer that we sell in the pub. And we, as the frog, you know, we, can, we can go through at least 100 kegs per week. A hundred kegs, 100 per, kegs week. per week. Wow. Um, which is, you know, it's quite intense. It's right. quite, you know, it's, it's not an awful lot of beer. Yeah. I think it's great to have local beer, local, everything happening here, you're doing it right here on site. You're not importing it at all, you're making it right here, and that's what it's all about. We're here in Bermuda, the dockyards, the frog and onion. We're here at the beautiful Hamilton Princess. The sun is popping out again. We got the soft breezes here from the ocean, and it's just magnificent. And with me right now is, well, let me tell you something. When you're in the U.S., we've all known of Mr. Rogers, right? We've all heard of Mr. Rogers? Well, here, this is this Mr. Rogers neighborhood, Larry Rogers, who's been our tour guide. This guy has been absolutely brilliant. You've taken us on the North Road, you've taken us the South Road, the Middle Road, all the great spots, even places where you grew up. Yes. Fantastic. That's what you got to do. Let me tell you something. You have been marvelous. You are an encyclopedia. Whenever you get a chance to come here, you ask for Larry Rogers because he knows Bermuda better than anybody on the planet. It's a fantastic place. I've learned so much about it. You made my stay terrific. Here. Oh, you're welcome, Dan. Anytime you come back, I'll be happy to show you anybody exactly what Bermuda is about. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Larry Rogers, thank you so much, my friend. And you're listen, welcome. one thing I want to make sure when I come back here, you see, I want you to pan down because I want you to see New York Bermuda shorts and real Bermuda shorts. Pan down. Don't judge the knees when you look at this. Just take a look at what I'm wearing and what Larry's wearing. He's wearing the regulation shorts. I'm wearing the New York Bermuda shorts. I got to come back here and wear the right uniform next well, time. Well, yes, and you got to have the socks. <laughs> yeah. but, but I got to tell you, you got to have good legs to have yeah. the socks. <laughs> I got to work on that. I got a year to work on that. Larry, thank you so much, my friend. You're welcome, you are the best. You are the best. Right. You're welcome.